Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, let me say today, Honorable Speaker, I am in the, this committee of roads housing. And this petition came before us. And Mr. Speaker, this petition was brought by tenants, former tenants of Buxton Estate. When this tendering process was advertised, there was only one tenderer who tendered for that land. The land is 13 acres. And when the tenderer submitted his tender, because it was only one tenderer, it would have been a process which was non-responsive. At that point, that uh, tender would have been nullified. They didn't. That was one grave mistake. Number two, Honorable Speaker, uh, if you look at the cost of that Pakistan land today, looking at it per square meter, Honorable Speaker, it is surprising to note that the price in Pakistan today is 90 shillings, 90,000 shillings per square meter. And the neighboring estate, which is being built now near the stadium, is going for less than 70,000 per square meter. Honorable Speaker, this issue of affordable housing is a scam. Why am I saying it's a scam, Honorable Speaker? If you look at the government giving land for free, number one, the same government is giving tax free building materials. Same government is giving value added taxes free. And also transfer, transferring that land is free of charge. And how, I don't know what kind of calculation they are making. After giving free government land, which is a public land, to an individual, and then that individual builds properties at not affordable price, but at an affordable price, commercial price. The speaker, if you go today, my, uh, uh, Honorable Lomonen is my witness. He bought 104 square meter property in Great Wall. He bought two mazonets, two apartments, at the cost of 3.5 million shillings. He has doc documents. I am his witness. And if you look at 104, you, you, you divide 3.5 million divided by 104, you are getting that land at 34,000 shillings, 34,000 34, per square meter. So why should somebody tell me that after giving this land for free, this land, the price should go to 90,000 per square meter? I don't know why. Honorable Speaker, lastly, in that committee, my view was that the government has lost land to fraudsters in the, no, in the name of developers. The speaker, I will tell you today, after 10 years, there is no land that will be left for Kenyans to use because all the land that is supposed to be developed by the government has been taken over by fraudsters pretending to be developers. The speaker, my view was in that committee although I was a minority, had a minority view, was this matter should be subjected to anti-corruption authority, ESCC. Because there is a fraud that was uh, castigated between the developer and the county government of Mombasa. Mr. Speaker, if you go to South Sea today, Isli today, if you want to do any development and you have the money, you can go to the landowner. And today, the mathematics are very simple. The landowner will be getting 30% of whatever is going to be developed on that land. And it's hope everybody knows. I can show this government about 1,000 contracts that has been dealt with between a developer and the landowner. And it's very simple. You can build 100 units. If you build 100 units, 30 units will go to the landowner. But in Pakistan case, Honorable Speaker, is 90 
the developer gets 90 percent and the landowner gets 10 percent simply because this land belongs to innocent Kenyans because it's not individual that project I agree if the president can hear me he should stop all developments purported as being affordable housing. There is nothing like affordable, Honorable Speaker. These are crooks, thieves, and calculated uh, move of stealing from this country. Senator Chute, I'm not comfortable with the ones that you are using to describe <laughs> those contractors. Honorable Speaker, let me let me. Can very you clear. use better wording on? Honorable As you Speaker, express yourself. Yeah, Honorable Speaker, thank you very much. Honorable Speaker, why am I trying to say this? I am a businessman for the last 30 years. And I know when this deal, this deal is bad, I know. And this deal, why am I saying this deal is crooked? It's because why should it be 90 for the developer and 10 for the landowner? The landowner is a Kenyan. It's Kenyans, they are Kenyans. And uh, Honorable Speaker, uh, I, I want to support hon uh, Honorable Senator for Nairobi by what he said is very important. Very, very important, Honorable Speaker. He said, we are not going to allow the same thing that has happened in Pakistan to happen in any place, anywhere in this country. And the President should uh, talk to us. We've seen something that has happened in Pakistan, something unheard of. Yes, Mr. Speaker, you told me don't say theft, but something unheard of. <laughs> so, Mr. Speaker, I, this petition, has, we've learned a lot from this petition. And we are going, I'm going to support uh, Honorable uh, Senator for, for Nairobi. Uh, we are ready to demonstrate, to stop this, uh, uh, what do I call <laughs> this, the so-called developers into trying to siphon money from Kenyans. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Thank you. You know, Senator Chute, I don't need to be a lawyer to know the parliamentary language that is uh, useful for this house. Senator Tabida Karocha. <coughs> Sorry. Under two minutes for this, uh, because we must conclude uh, these petitions. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for giving me this opportunity. Um, and I, I stand uh, to support the, the report of the Standing Committee on Roads and Transportation and Housing on petition to the Senate by Mr. John uh, Suma and other residents of Buxton Estate regarding eviction from the demolition of uh, Buxton Estate in Vita constituency of Mombasa County. Mr. Speaker, sir, I really want uh, to say that I'm happy by Senator Sifuna what he said, that whatever has happened to the Buxton uh, people will not happen anywhere else in this country. And for me, I've seen a lot of danger even when we are talking, and I'm happy that I'm in this house when this is happening. Because in our county, Nakuru County, uh, I've seen some uh, notices that I've sent to people who've been living in estates for over 40 years. They've been living in estate for over 40 years. And they've been told that uh, they pay some arrears, that these arrears, uh, the county government doesn't have proper, uh, the proper report because they inherited it from the municipal council now to the county government. So those arrears are not really uh, known whether they are really the proper ones. So they've been given 14 days. And the fear is, these are over 10,000 people living in Akuru. The fear is, if they leave those houses, then they are given the private developers. 
these houses will be developed by the private developers and the end of it they will not be able to Time is up, uh, Senator Tabitha, Senator, oh, Senator Abbas. Senator Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Madam Speaker, I beg to support the, the report, the petition, that um, as the, reported by the, the committee, actually it's a very unfortunate situation, that we are denying the poor Kenyans who lived in Pakistan for the last 50 years. They have been moved to the slums and they have not been given any shares in, that, in those houses. They have not been given houses. No, the, the, the intention of the purpose of these uh, locals' houses is to improve the housings in this country. The people who are living actually in slums, you go to the homes, you replace them, and they remain not again the beneficiaries of those, those houses being built. This house now, or, now has already been taken by middle class uh, uh, who could afford to buy those houses. The poor that own those houses since independence have no homes today. Two, the government has lost the three billion worth of land and to give that uh, the developer was given free. The materials and everything they are using is tax free. And we are saying in this country we want to collect money and taxing Anything that's worth $500 to be taxed. See, this is a very unfortunate situation. Today, yesterday, we were demolishing so many houses in Mofoko. If you want to improve living, I mean, give people uh, uh, houses, and you are still demolishing other houses that have been existing, and instead of demolishing those houses in Mofoko, they should have been sold to those people at least at, 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 a, at a low house, I mean, uh, low cost prior prices. And therefore, we need, uh, need, I think uh, this is actually a very unfortunate thing. And as Bashima Shuta said, this is a scam, actually. And this scam must be stopped in this country. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister.